Hey guys, it's Kayla. Ew, no, nasty. Never doing that ever again. That thing. Not like the hoodie thing. I'll probably do that like every time I film a video. But it, with the hoodie. Anyways, so hey guys, it's Kayla. And today I'm going to be doing a What's in My Backpack end of the school year video. Uh, I know a couple people have done this, like Brooklyn and Bailey, Cameron Noel, and some other people that I can't remember right now. But. I just thought this would be a cool and fun idea. So, before we get started, I want to explain what's happening to my hair right now. So, basically, all these, like, girls, like, stick straight hair. Well, like, my eyeball is, like, burning. Oh, my gosh. All these girls, like, stick straight. Stick, stiff, straight hair. Like, braid their hair and put them in buns. Like, at night, like, when their hair's all wet. And in the morning, like, when their hair's all dry and stuff, they'll, like, take the braids out. And, like, it's, like, a cool, like, crimp thing. So, I decided, since my hair is curly, dead, frizzy, and, you know, just everything bad, <laughs> that I would do it and see what happens tomorrow. So, tomorrow, if I film a video, you might see my ratchet self or you might see my beautiful self. Whichever one happens. I think it's going to be Ratchet. I won't even say that anymore. Wow. I'm like. Oh. Okay. So, basically. Let's just get started. So, here. I saw my backpack has gained 20 pounds in the last, like, two weeks. Like, from school. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Like, I have more, like, stuff that, like. I was like carried out of school with me because I wanted to fit my backpack down there. So I don't know if I show that or not. I'm going to show it. Okay, I'll show it. Anyway, so this is my backpack. It's a pink Under Armour backpack. It's like pink with like gray and like white polka dots. It's like weird. And it used to be my sister's, but it was supposed to be like a temporary backpack. Here, let me show you. Okay, so hold huh? on. Okay, so. I had a backpack about this high. It's not this exact backpack. This is my mom's travel backpack. So I don't know why it was just laying on my floor. But it was. So basically, I had a backpack about this size going into sixth grade. And no, I thought it was going to be fine. I never had a backpack. Oh, I'm wearing pajama pants. That's fine. But I had never had a backpack that small before. But, I was like, you know what, it's fine, I'll use my locker, I'll carry some stuff. Like, I'll probably just leave my backpack in my locker all the time, just, like, carry a couple books at a time, so, like, whatever classes, and whenever I'm upstairs, get new books, and you know what, at the end of the day, I just walk up to my locker and, like, get everything, just leave and carry some more stuff. Excuse you. Make a video. Okay. Sorry, that was my mom. But, anyway, so I figured I would do that. But that didn't, that didn't happen. Because then you realize that the lockers are literally that small. And that really you don't have time. And half of your classes are downstairs. So really the only time that you go upstairs is third and fourth and fifth hour. Which really there's no point of doing anything. And yeah. So I decided not to do that. And you no know, binders didn't even fit inside the backpack. Like, they didn't fit. Only, like, folders and stuff could fit. So, it just wasn't going to work out. So, we decided that I would use my sister's old backpack from last year until, you know, we could go out and buy an actual, like, good backpack. We just kind of, like, pushed it off and pushed it off. Like, we, I started using this backpack literally, like, the second day of school. So, we just kept pushing off and pushing off. I'm like, hey, we need to go get my backpack. Because, like, I didn't want to walk around with this. I still did. I walked around with it till the end of the school year. So. Great. So, yeah. I don't even know where we got this, to be honest. Um, It's, like, real janky. I think I wrote on the straps. Yeah, I wrote right here. I love. Horses. I love horses out here. I remember doing that. It was our very first like flex. Which if you don't know what flex is, like if your school doesn't do it, um, it's called flex or Mad Mondays or at our school. It's basically where like every Thursday, it used to be like Monday obviously, but now like on Thursday or like really any there day of the week, 
you set aside a whole class period to like have like a silent time I guess you could call it where either you go to your math class or re your reading class or your science or your history class in science and history you just like catch up on missing assignments or you read or really just like work on homework but if you go to reading or math you would work on reading or math and like they would kind of teach you some extra stuff and they would like pull certain students so like so like each week if we had to work on I don't know multiplication math our math teacher would like pull us out and then we would do math for that class period and our schedules would like change and stuff and yeah and we would basically just do that and so yeah that's when I did that I don't know why I have to explain everything yeah and I also wrote courses I think right there in pencil which you can't see I wrote the I love horses right there in sharpie Right, that is I Love Horses and Sharpie. And honestly, I just do that stuff. So let's just honestly just get in with this because I've been filming for six minutes and you're probably bored out of your mind. So, yeah. So, on this side pocket, it looks like I have nothing. And on this side pocket, it looks like, ooh, what do I have in here? I have gum with three pieces left. I did not know I had this. I feel like really used this the last couple of days of school. Because, whoosh. And then I have a gray Sharpie Ultra Fine liner. No, Ultra Fine Point, sorry. And yeah, it's just whoop you do. And that's everything in there. So now we're going to go to this pocket. Because I have this pocket, and then I have this teeny tiny tiny pocket. And this larger pocket, and then my like, main pocket. So, in this pocket, it looks like I have, <laughs> y'all, I'm so nasty, a Slim Jim wrapper. It's not like moldy or anything, it's just kind of like dirty. Here, I'll use that for my little trash can. I have like a bowl over there, so I'll just use that as my like trash can until like the end of this video. Okay, so whoops. Oh yeah, and that's like that. And like there's all stuff in there. So it's like a deep pocket. And honestly I hated it because I like couldn't put really put stuff in there because it was like never ending. And I would have to like pull everything out. So I never use that. So these next two pockets, this teen tiny one and this okay, I'm gonna like and this like medium sized one I haven't looked in there in like I don't know how long <laughs> so cause I kind of just like stuff stuff in the main pocket and yeah also my bag not bag not might not be as bad as most people's just cause like I used to clean out my bag regularly regular is regularly regularly you know Maybe, I don't know. But I used to clean out my bag regularly. And here, I'm just going to get the stuff that I carried on last day of school up here. So I just kind of did that and it was kind of like, I just cleaned it out. So it was never really that dirty. But the last, I don't know, 18 weeks, I have not cleaned it or looked inside of here. So let's do this. I used to have a trash pocket, and this is my trash pocket. Ooh, looky here. Oh, I have a lot of stuff in this pocket. Oh, I, I remember these notes. These are actually my friend's notes. His name is Fluffy Cheeks. No, his name's James, but that's his nickname because whenever he eats, he goes. <coughs> so, yeah. Like, he blows up his cheeks. It's so weird. Okay, so it's his ecology notes from our science class. So it's like competition and, pred and predation. Whoa. And yeah, so I'm done with that. I don't want to read any of that. Cause... Mm. Okay, and then I have this Maybelline New York Fit Me powder. It's in the shade. I don't know. It's, I don't know what shade it is. 
but it's probably like the lighter shade probably because like if you didn't notice if you didn't notice or notice your girl pale <laughs> so yeah it's not just camera your girl pale your girl is an actual vampire okay and then i have this color cover girl clean and invisible um concealer in the shade fair claire so there's that done and that's it except for like gum wrappers i, I hit you all right so now for this big like medium ooh, goodies okay so it looks like i have this like wrapper to the gum packet actually i'm gonna take a gum honestly i don't know how long this has been in here but oh well I'm, like, gonna be real mad if I, like, find gum that's been missing. But, like, I go through, like, a pack of gum in, like, a day. So, I hate saying no to people. I hate saying no to people. You know, this girl who's in my math class and my reading class. Every day she would ask for gum. And then get mad at me because I bought the same gum. Like, what? Anyways. It's a pixie stick. But I don't know how long it's been in here. I just remember buying eight of these for $200 flash cash. Which I'll explain later. So, yeah. So, I probably have some. Oh, yep. Yeah, I do have some in here. So. Yeah. When does this expire? Because like, I'm probably going to need it in a second. February of 2020. Okay. So, I can still eat this after filming. Alright, so this is flash cash. Well, I just dropped it. It's not important anyways. But basically, oh, I have a lot of junk in here. Uh -huh. Flash cash is where, like, you're if you're caught doing something good or you, like, do something that the teachers like, sometimes, very rarely, they'll give you flash cash. Like, if you do good on state testing. 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 They'll give you flash cash. So, like, when you get flash cash, you like, that $10 that day would buy me $2 Jolly Ranchers. So, it's, like, a total ripoff. Because, like, you do one good thing and you get $2 Ranchers. Like, you do, like, five good things and you get, like, hang on, 10 Jolly Ranchers if you do, like, a bunch of good things. So, I hated it. But... And I never spent my, a lot of times I would just, like, lose it. Like, give it away to my friends because, like, they liked it. But, whenever we did, like, say testing, well, just testing, I would always do really, really good. And they wouldn't just give you the cash out, write it down on your card. So, I ended up, by the end of the year, having, like, over 800 flash cash. And I lost all my cards and stuff. And then they gave me 200 So I had $225. Didn't know what to spend with them. So I bought eight Pixie Sticks and some fruit snacks. I remember the fruit snacks. Okay, the fruit snacks are delicious. Delicious. Still eat them. Made my grandmother buy me some. Keep at her house. Then made my dad buy me some to keep at our, our house. And then told my mom that she needs to try them. We had them in our fridge because I bought them. Oh, it's like a straw. I'm pretty sure. It, oh, it's purple, by the way. Okay, we're done with talking about my pig stick. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, science class. Okay. Everything so far has been about science class, and I don't know why. Okay, so you'll find out that I did have a science folder that I just didn't use. So this was my mind map which our teacher used to make us our science teacher used to make us do and it's like where we had to like make like a draw a picture like write definitions about like like we had to draw a picture instead of writing definitions to like do like our like the section that we were in like the chapter and stuff so this one is our ecosystem one and I had to write, like, biosphere, biomes, oh, I hate these, ecosystems, community, population, and then organism, so, yeah. Okay. 
you can tell that like I ran out of room, so I just had to like draw a little circle and say organism right there. And like super small. Like it's an organism. It's like can be super small or super big, but it's a small, it's like most specific thing. Alright, so anyway, so that's that. Oh, and then listen, my friend James Fluffy Cheeks. I'm gonna just call him Fluffy Cheeks for this, this video. Used to make me keep all his worksheets. I don't know why, because I would lose all mine, but I made an effort to keep his. Like, I made the effort. So, like, I didn't want to lose his. But I would lose mine, I didn't care about mine. So, this was our Bill Nine Science Guide. Like, decomposers and, like, more ego crap and, like, food web and crap. Um, science papers, so. That was fun. And I have a scrunchie in here that's so disgusting because it has like hair and stuff. So it's just so nasty. And then, oh my gosh. I have bubble yum and a bubble yum wrapper. And I can't remember, I, I can't even remember last time that I bought bubble yum for school. So that was like old. And then in here I have like pieces of a pen. Oh, I have a lot more stuff actually. Oh, I have the rest of the pen, it looks like. Um, I have, oh, my first pencil. Wow, we'll just like stick pencils in my hair. There we go. My first pencil, more pen pieces. I love how I'm doing this on my bed. I'm like gonna get stabbed tonight by these. And then a Sharpie. And then I have a Jolly Rancher. I don't know where that came from. More like pen pieces. I'm just gonna put that back in here. I'm putting all the pen pieces back into my backpack. And like the gum. And like back into my backpack. Not just Sharpie though. I can like keep the Sharpie. There you go. And then that. Ew. It's like crummy. So yeah, that's. That's all for that pocket. <laughs> Alright, so now like the pocket that I've been dreading the most. Like, the main pocket. And the reason- Okay, I just need to like, get comfy for the main pocket. The reason- Oh, my pencil. The reason I've been dreading this is because honestly, I don't know what's at the bottom. And it terrifies me. Like, the stuff that he's like on a daily basis, like, goes up top, but like, Things like go down, down, down in there. So I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of scared. Just open it. I'll give you like wow. I'll give you like a view of this. And that's that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the stuff that like I carried out of school on the last day of school. So I have my science, my science like folder, and it has like stuff out like falling out of it. Cause like. I literally do not care about science at all. So, like, it has its own pencil pouch that is empty. Used to have stuff in it. Doesn't anymore because people are thieves. And then, like, I have one sad paper in here. And it says, like, friction and work and Netflix and all that crap. And then I have all of this, which is literally math stuff. And reading stuff. So. That's fun. I believe my big stock box stuff. I knew that one last day school. They have it though. And then I have my history notebook, which is just like bell ringers. If you don't know what bell ringer is, it's like where you, um, like whenever you walk into school, like into your class, they have like a pop. You, the teachers have problems on the board and you have to like write them down and like answer them or solve them. And then, yeah, so that's that. And then, it just has, like, my notes in here. My horrible notes, because I bad take notes. And then, this random, like, stuff. That thing. And, yeah. So, the next thing in this thing is a study guide for Long Walk to Water, Chapter 4. Which is a book that we read in my reading class. That's fun. Okay. And then in here. 
And then in here, I have a note, it looks like, from my friend. Hi, Kayla. This is Blah. Maybe we could hang out this summer. If you do, my number is blah, 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 blah. And my dad is blah, 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 blah. That's fun. I actually want to keep that, though. Come on. Come on. No, I'm kidding. I have my friends. I promise. I don't want to tell. Okay, and then I have my broken caboodle because my mom dropped it on the ground. So now it's broken. She was in the other room. Oh my gosh. My, what? My pencil is like falling. What? I, I was dramatically screaming how you broke this. Are we going up in there? No, I'm making a video. Still? I mean, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I just have like markers and like my pen. And I use my pens forever. And then I'm done with you. And I don't have any pencils in there because that's totally what I bought it for. I bought it for like my pens, like my desk. And then I just brought it to school and then next brought it home. Okay, so look. So I have this culture. I was supposed to turn this in on the last day of school. And like they are going to send it to my history teacher next year or so. To like test my knowledge. I don't know. Didn't turn it in. Don't really care. I was going to ask me about the day that I walked into school, but do we care? Not really. I'm actually a really good student. Like, honestly, people don't think that because, like, I never do my homework and, like, stuff. But I make straight A's and, like, two B's. But I'm a great student. Then I have my science notebook, which has my ecosystem notes. Always say colorful. My ecosystem notes, my ecology notes, and my ecosystem notes. So, fun. I did ecosystem notes till the last day of school. Like, we started like three weeks before school and, to school, and took them to the last day of school. And then she told us that if we didn't, that like, on the first day, she was, like, grading our attention. And so that I got the best grade. Because, honestly, oh, I, like, didn't know if there was going to be a test or not. I always do good in, like, I always did good in science, like, on tests. But, I don't know. It was difficult. Okay, then I had the Five Feet Apart book, which, like, everyone wanted to borrow from me. And it was just, like, my heart. Then I have another Sharpie. It's a red one this time. That's fun. And then I have this flawless bag with nothing in it. This is my makeup bag. Um, I don't know what my makeup is. I know that I showed you the concealer and the powder that was in here. That's fun. Next I have this playwright, like a play that I wrote um, for my speech class. And the first line is, this is so scary. So, that's And I have this thing that said believe. Did this on the second to last day of school. I have, no, third to last. I have this thing that says love because it was supposed to be a Mother's Day card, but never happened. I'm trying to breeze through this because like, I've been filming for a while. Oh, then I have my speech notebook, which I, and my Project Lead the Way notebook, which is like an engineering class thing that you, like, have a choice of either, like, take, you could take Spanish, Project Lead the Way, um, P.E., Health, or Art. And I did all of them except for, hold on, except for, um, P.E. Because I'm a skinny legend and probably never will be. So, yeah. <laughs> and on the front of it, it says Speech and Debate. And on the back, it says, um, Particularly Delay. But up here, on the front, it says School is Horrid. Except I put Sucky. But on the bright side, in the end, you get money. Positivity is key. So, that was my inspirational quote. Oh my gosh, I've looked for this so hard on the last day of school. But, like, last day of school, we had, like, our favorite memory, like, every day. Like, our first favorite on Monday, our second favorite on third favorite, and then our fourth favorite. Last day of school, we had to write who, like, we were thankful for this school year. And, like, of course, I wrote the teachers that class I was in at that moment because, like, your mom might take shade. So, 
Oh, and then I have this math paper that we did on the left of school. She literally made us, like, write down, like, notes. But I love her, so, like, she's my, my second grade teacher. Okay, so then I have this thing, which I have lost. It's my Bible journal thing. But, like, I have lost it. And I found in my history class with half the thing stolen out of it, which you can see. Like, all that is, like, stolen. Like, everything's done, I have to add these in to make it look, like, less, like, bad. So, like, they left all of these, which I was so thankful for, but they took all my liners, my ruler, my highlighter, like, every, my highlighters, like, everything. They took it. Oh, and I found out that my teacher was pregnant the second to last week of school. So, I made this for her. And then, like, I made actually three of these and whenever um she told us she took it and she ripped it off okay and she crumbled one side up and then threw it at us and then like threw it at me and I opened it and I went girl and then everyone was like so excited because it was a boy and she had said we should one crumble up and thought like, Kayla it's the one that the baby's not so I read it and I was like girl so it was fun yeah, that was fun. Okay, so like, we're done with that. So yeah, my favorite teacher was pregnant, so I was super happy. Oh, look, and then I have a makeup brush by e.l.f. Okay, and then, oh my goodness. I have a, oh my gosh, writing paper that says writing an I am poem. How to do that. Okay, and then I have a Mother's Day card that never got to my mother because I made it backwards and did not want to present it. Okay, so it says, you are my rock, Mom. I'll give this to her at the end of this video. No one has a better mom. You're the bomb, Mom. Love, Kayla. I'm just going to keep that out because I'm going to show you all that at the end. What else did I say I was going to show at the end? I can't remember. Oh, well. Okay, so next thing in here is, is statistics which was our review before our state testing and then more review before state testing and then I have state testing review no this project was way stuff I just said one two three and thought it was math and like saw like nets but no the project was the way we designed the desk okay, and then I have a statistic a paper I have, this, like this is showing how much this fault I am. A stats and GL paper. I don't know what GL stands for. I have a figurative language. You use figurative speech to be more effective, persuasive, and impactful. Figurative speech such as metaphors, similes, and personification go beyond the literal, literal meanings of the words given to the readers' new insights. And Paul Revere's ride, a poem that we read, we you see that many different types of figurative language list two examples that you see in the poem. We you see many types of different figurative language list two examples that you see in the poem. What type of figurative language are these examples? What is the literal meaning being told through the figurative language? Okay, do y'all want to hear my answer? If you don't, skip. In Paul Revere's ride, we see many types of figurative language. One of these are when he said, Good night, was a muffled or. This means that the or was quiet. The phrase is personification because it's gliding, it is gliding in a human characteristic being muffled to an or. Another example of figurative language in Paul Revere's rise would is, and beneath from the pebbles, in passing the spark struck out, it's deep, blind, fearless, and fleet. This is a metaphor because it is exaggerating how fast the horse was going and she knocked me off 10 points because she asked me what personification and a metaphor was so how oh, dare she oh and then I have the homework that I never turned in fun oh and a gum wrapper and then I have an eyeshadow palette that's broken and it's a color prismal eyeshadow palette the eyeshadow's not broken the like plastic is that's fun. Oh, and I have a little, like, thing that we had to do for grade. It was like a 
keyboard search. They had duper grade. I didn't get the grade done. I, I had a missing assignment on the last day of school. Because, um, yeah. Okay, so this is something my, that my friend drew for me. It is a, like, dragon, but I colored it. And I think they have, like, a nose ring, like, thick eyeliner, and, like, a cross, like, on her neck and stuff. I named I named him Billy. So, that was fun. Oh, and then I have this flower thing. I think it's a card, is it? No, it's not. It's just I fold in half because you could see that, like, my cloud. So, I made that. You know, it's really ugly. But, oh, just me. Okay, so I have this Crayola Super Tip marker, peach color. That's fun. Then, oh my goodness, holy mackerel. Oh, I was looking for this. Okay, I have my calculator, the Texas Craft one that was like $30. And then I have, oh, okay, so listen. My science teacher, again about her, she used to make us fill out our agendas, which our school provides a, us an agenda and they specifically said if you want to fill out your agenda to keep up with your assignments you can you do not have to on the first day of school every single teacher told us that and then on the third day of school she goes listen i know i said they all had the option to but y'all don't anymore because i want to make you because y'all are, are going to have missing assignments if you don't and my agenda helps me so i have to help you she did the same thing with note cards. She was like, they help me, so they must help y'all. Like, they don't. Just because they help you doesn't mean they help us. Nobody. Nobody using note cards. Nobody did better on tests. Nothing. So. Hmm. Okay, and then I have stuff for Project Lead Away. I have three paper number one. Three paper number two. Wine paper number one. Blank paper number one. I have a Mandia and supporting details paper for K prep. Hi, K prep. State testing. Sorry. K prep is like what we're doing today in Kentucky. I don't know I live in Kentucky. That's not a surprise. Um, so, yeah. And then. So I'm thinking about something. Then I have a green Sharpie and a black Sharpie. Then I have a composition notebook. Can I tell y'all about, like, why, like, that is, like, happening? Okay. I'm going to tell it like this. So, basically what happened, I had colored the, like, barcode code right here with a Sharpie. And I did not like it. So, I cut it out. But then it was uneven. So, I decided, no, I'm going to cut out more. And then I just kept more and more. And then it was still uneven. I just wanted to like rip this whole cover off, but I couldn't because I still have a week of school left. So I couldn't, but oh, that felt so good to do that. And now I just have this, which honestly, way better than just a regular composition notebook. So congrats, congrats, you win. X, Y, Z. I was trying to show my friend that if I had to spell the alphabet, this is how it would go. And then we just have this sad, lonely thing. But like, if you do that, you can see like the pretty colors. It was supposed to be a rainbow, but I had brown to it because I thought it would be cute. It wasn't. Okay, so then I have this book that says, draw 100 things to make you happy. I used it, I drew a duck, I was happy because I had a duck drawing. All right, and then this paper, I can't show it to you because like it says my like everything, but it says, Below, you'll find the blank cut scores a guide in order to enroll in advanced math offerings at each middle school. In addition to cut the scores attached, you will find additional requirements in order to sign up for the advanced courses. Six guide courses, math six, honors math six, pre-algebra. Start scores, no requirements for math six. All right, so basically, I'm going to skip all this. I got into pre-algebra for seventh grade. And I had to have the score of... 782 or better, like two of those. I don't know what I had, so that's fun. Okay, and then I have this, more of those study guide things for the book that I read. Are you another one of them? Uh, print out agenda, because I actually cared. Um, more dragons, 
fine bite, my friend. Mm. A test from reading that I got 90 on because I missed one question. And then a, another extended response. Y'all want to hear? After reading The Prince and the Pauper, a drama and a short story written by Mark Twain, compare and contrast the elements of the drama versus the elements of the short story. You must use Ray and have two details that are similar to two contrasts. Prince and the Pauper have, some, have two similarities and two differences. The short story and drama have the same main characters. The Prince and the Pauper, short story and drama, have the same exposition. They both have the same main characters because they both focus on Tom and the prince. They have the same exposition because they both have the same beginning and to the story. In the, in the short story, the drama differences act that they do not have the same climax. The story tells us that... Hold on! And I'm not going to read this because like, my mom's yelling at me to hurry up and let's go to bed. But yeah, I got a 50 out of 50 on it. And then... I, it's 10 o'clock and she's tired so she wants me to go to bed so that she can go to bed. So yeah. And I have a, like, quiz for my speech class. And then I have a piece of paper. And then I have a piece of paper. And then I have a science test that I got 60 on. And then I have corrections for it. And then I have a thing like a report i have a piece of paper gum thing more gum thing the pieces of the notebook a reading binder a speech folder a project lead the way folder a math binder my favorite notebook in the world my vet notebook and then more papers along with a bible so that's really it. Oh, and then I have that. And then I have a Myrtle Beach magnet. So yeah, that's really it. That's, that's everything that I like got. That's fun. Oh yeah, and I have to cram all this stuff back in here. So like I can actually like lay on my bed. I don't want to like make a mess all on my floor. Like future me. So future me, think past me. And yeah, just fine. So I'll see y'all guys tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Next time I post. So love y'all. Thank you so much. And bye.